Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and I'm Brian, like always. Now, I've always been curious about all-in-one coolers, and I've used a couple so far, and I wanted to mix it up, so I've got two behind me that I'm going to be doing two separate videos on, one unboxing and one installation, so stay tuned, because I'm doing it Chanley style. Here we have the Emmermax LIQ Tech, or Lick Tech, 120X. This is a all-in-one cooler, two fans, push-pull design. It has detachable fans, dual fans, twister bearings, high-performance air pressure fans, three cooling modes, and shunt channel technology. All right, so let's see what's inside this thing. We got the instruction manual. Inside we got our box full of goodies, which is always nice to have. Got your AMD clips, your Y splitter, back plate, and a whole bunch of goodies. Now I do want to point out, for those of you still using uh, the Intel slot 775, you're going to need this back plate. Also AMD users will need this back plate, along with these stickers to go along with the back plate. Comes with all your standard standoffs, compression springs, and even some uh, CPU thermal compound, which I probably won't use. And moving on, we've got these fans. Let's see. Yep, that was easy to pull off. So if you want to paint your fans and whatnot, that's pretty... Oh, that snaps right back in. With a little bit of a push. Oh, man, that's a smooth spin. Um, if you look back here, these are a four pin, which is nice. And there's actually a switch right here so you can control the overall speed. So if you want it to only max out at 1300 RPMs and keep it a quieter build, there you got it. And then up here, you can all, you go all the way up to 2500 RPM. And then you got... 2000 in the middle. Now for the meat and potatoes, what we actually came here to. This is actually a pretty weighty build. A little bit of air in there. If you shake it, you can kind of hear it. Let's see if you can see the fan. Very, very tight design in the fan. Copper bottom, which is always nice with the nice little protector here. Make sure to remove that before you install it. I have made that mistake before. And I actually have these pretty short tubes, so trying to figure out how to set that up is going to be interesting. Alright guys, so this looks like a pretty legit all-in-one cooler. It's fucking beastly. It's really heavy, and I'm excited to install it. If you guys want to see me do an install video and show you what kind of temperatures I get on Devil's Canyon. Go ahead and click somewhere in this general area with the floating picture. Hopefully I'll figure out how to do that. Um, the one thing I really don't like is the Y splitter. Now the fans only use about 5.5 watts, but that's 11 watts going through one motherboard header. I don't like it. I don't you might want to check with your motherboard to see if it can handle that amount of watts, but really, I'm not a big fan of burning out my motherboard just for to save space. So either get a motherboard that can support more than, you know, the minimum amount of fans, or get a fan controller, but don't use this. This this just this is just asking for trouble. I uh, maybe it's a design flaw or whatnot, but I just don't like it. You guys go ahead and use this at your own risk. I'm I'm not using it. I might use it on something else. This is still a really le legit splitter. These are like $12. But um, I'm not using it. I will not. Oh, sorry guys. I just realized this got stuck in the box. It's a little Molex adapter to two pin fan. So I guess maybe you can use that to run the pump and use the other two for your... I don't know. Just it's usable. Okay, so I gotta throw in one other thing after after installing this. Another huge design flaw on this is the actual hardware itself. The rounded end doesn't go in flush with a recessed uh, mother or a recessed case like this one. So obviously you can see that there's different sizes. 
And it's also about, uh, I'd say, two millimeters or a millimeter just short of actually being able to grab into the back of the water cooler. So really all you're going to do is strip out your hardware and frustrate yourself. Luckily I had some hardware left over from an actual water cooling build. So I was able to throw that in. Plus, this is silver, this is black. Black just matches a black case better, and usually black hardware goes with every case. So having this weird silver just just clashed with the build in general so like i said guys if you're gonna buy if you're gonna buy this cooler get some better hardware this is garbage anyway guys thanks for checking out my channel watch my video give me a thumbs up comments down below you know the drill facebook twitter and twitch and this was uh the ember max lick tech 120x unboxed chanley style <laughs>